Yes, ladies and gentlemen, with the Premier League season coming to a wrap, it's time for me to give you guys my Premier League team of the season. And before we go any further, do me a favor, hit the like on the goddamn video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and let me know if you agree with my player, uh, my player, the players that I've picked once my team has been fully completed. Now, I haven't gone through this myself yet, so I'm going to go through this with you guys right now. First, we're going to start with the goalkeeper. Um, so I was thinking about the goalkeeper and I was thinking usually we have uh, we have the likes of Ederson and Allison in there, but this season those two have been injured. Those two have been injured. They haven't been as as available as as normal. So it's going to be a little bit of a different uh, trio today. The goalkeepers that I'm going to have today is the likes of Emmy Martinez. He's one of the uh, candidates. He did get uh, he did get Aston Villa top four. You also have David Rea, the top the top uh, clean sheet getter in uh, in in the in the Premier League. And then next to him, I got Pickford. Pickford, if you guys don't know, has actually had a fantastic season as a goalkeeper. As a goalkeeper, Pickford has had a fantastic season. He's actually been um, one second. Let me just check, let me just show you guys. Let me just show you guys what I mean. So Pickford this season has had thirteen clean sheets, uh, even though he's conceded fifty-one goals. Thirteen clean sheets for a relegation candidate. Everton. These guys, if they weren't deducted points, they would be like in the top ten potentially. So, out of all the keepers, because uh, because Martinez has made too many errors. Because Martinez has made way too many errors, I'm actually contemplating and I'm thinking I'm going to give it to none other than it's between Raya or, or Pickford. But since Pickford is playing for such a uh, for, for, for such a worse team and he's been the main standout guy, I'm actually going to be very fair here. And I'm going to give Pickford the goal. Uh, the, I'm going to give Pickford the goalkeeper for uh, team of the year. So Pickford is going to be my goalkeeper. Let me know if you guys disagree with that. Would you guys put Raya? Would you guys put? Uh, would you guys put anybody else? But I think it uh, Pickford fully deserves it for his performances and especially how strong he ended the season. Now, going to, I'm going to show you guys uh, where I'm going to do this uh, also. So this is where I'm going to do my team. So that's there, and then left back. Hmm. I thought about this. Left back would have been, you. Uh, left back would have been Udogi, if he didn't get injured. If Udogi didn't get injured, left back would have been him. The other option is, uh, the other option is uh, Gavardio. Now, Gavardio from Man City. I'm I'm just trying to think how to spell his name. Just one second. One second. I'm just trying to think about how to spell his name. Okay, so yeah, I got it. So yeah, Gavardio would have been the next one. So with with the choices being between, for me, Udogi and Gavardio and nobody else, because Gavardio was such an impactful player in the title running and he helped them win the league, I'm going to give it to Yusuf Gavardio, even though I thought Odogi for the first part of the season was by far the best left back. He kind of fell off later on in the season. So I'm not going to give it to Odogi. I'm going to give it to Gavardio. And then when it comes to right back, right back for me, it's between uh, Ben White. It's between uh, Benjamin White and uh, Trent. It's between Ben White, Trent. And you could even argue if you want to, if you want to, if you want to put another player in there, you could even try to argue. Chelsea fans could try to argue for Gusto. You have a couple of people could argue for Della and all these other guys, but I don't think no one's been better than these two. So I'm actually going to go with Trent fell off later in the season. Ben White has continues to kept his form going till the end of the season. So I'm going to go with Ben White on how strong he ended his Premier League campaign. And this is going to be a consistent theme throughout the team of the year. How you ended your season gives me a big weight on on how how you're going to be voted in this in this team of the year. Now the center backs, hmm, center backs is going to be interesting. People are going to say you got to put Van Dyke. 
people first thing people are going to say you got to put van dyke i'm going to say you have to put saliba i'm going to say you have to have you have to have saliba in there but another shout is gabriel gabriel is another player who's going to have a shot so with these with these three center backs who are you guys keeping in there my opinion i think out of the three of them i think gabriel was the best by far in my opinion and then the fact that van dyke it's liverpool fell off and arsenal continued to go it's harsh because van dyke has been liverpool's best player and he's one of the main reasons why they're in the title race but these two have had the best defense in the Premier League and have been two of the best center backs in the in the world. Am I gonna am I gonna take out one of the Arsenal guys for Van Dijk? I just can't. I just can't. I just can't. So I'm gonna actually keep Gabriel, Gabriel and Saliba. Van Dijk is gonna have to take take a back seat on this one, and it's going to be Van Dijk. Uh, Van Dijk is out. It's gonna be Gabriel and Saliba who are in my team this season. Then midfield. I think midfield is gonna be straightforward. Rodri, Rodri is in. Rodri is in for me, and then I think the next one, yeah, I'm actually gonna put Rice. I'm actually gonna put Rice next to Rodri. So those those are my two, and then the final one. I'm actually contemplating here. I don't know what to do. I could technically put Odegaard here. I could put Foden here. But part of me wants to say, mm. yeah, no, I, I, it's not gonna. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, honorable mention to Douglas Luiz, and uh, I think, do I put Odegaard or Douglas Luiz? Hmm. Is there anybody else that I'm missing? I'm a Callister could have been a shout also. I think I'm going to put uh, Odegaard. Yeah. I'm going to put Odegaard in that team there. And people are saying, where's Foden? Where's the player of the year? Well, Foden is, is still in the team. Don't worry. Foden is going to play left uh, left wing. He's in the team. No debate. You're going to then say, where's Cole Palmer? Where's Saka? I'm actually going to put Cole Palmer ahead of Saka in this team because I, I, I think Cole Palmer has had a fantastic season for Chelsea. And this is team of the year. It's not it's not my favorite players. So I have to I have to be fair. I'm actually going to put Cole Palmer. He's been outstanding this season. And then that leaves only one spot, which is techie because there's two players that could take this spot. Erling Haaland and the likes of... Oli Watkins. My team of the season is actually going to have Oli. My team of the season is going to have Watkins. My team of the season is going to have Watkins. So my team of the season actually does not have the uh, the likes of Erling Haaland. It doesn't have Bakao Saka. It doesn't have Mo Salah. It doesn't have Douglas Luiz. No Virgil van Dijk. These are all guys who could have got shouts in the team of the season, but this is my team of the season. Let me know what you guys agree with, what you disagree with. But yeah, this is my team of the season for the 2023-2024 season. And you know what? It's very unfortunate that we did not win the league, but Man City, congratulations to them. And let me know what you guys agree with, disagree with, with this team. I'm out of here, people. You guys have yourselves a wonderful day. Catch you guys on the next one. And good night. God bless. And I'll see you guys all very, very soon. Peace.